этому деревянному мосту люди people cross this wooden bridge every day. In winter it gets slippery and it can't be repaired due to constant shelling. One of the main tasks of the OC mission is to record violations of the Minsk Accords. More often, Stanitsa Luhanska is shelled early in the morning, just before checkpoints begin operating. They separate government territory and the areas under the control of the Russian-led forces. Locals say the arrival of OSCE monitors makes crossing the so-called demarcation line safer and easier. They go to the area often and they cross it. We see it constantly. Local residents described the situation to the OSCE monitors on a nearly daily basis. In recent weeks, the Stanitsa Luhansko checkpoint underwent some much needed repairs. I've been asked by the OSC if I had passed quickly or not. I said very quickly. They are improving things for us. As you can see, the roads have been paved and they're bringing European standards here. I see that they worry about us. That's nice. The so-called window of silence serves as a temporary lull in fighting, which allows to restore the local infrastructure. Uh, we have 360 of those, more than 360 of those uh, windows of silence. And uh, through these windows of silence, uh, some large infrastructural uh, repairs have been done, uh, 95 of them being uh, related to the water, electricity or gas, uh, like uh, Petrivsky water pumping station, like water uh, Popasna water canal, or uh, high voltage power lines and substations. And they are affecting hundreds of thousands of people living on both sides of the contact line. The OSCE monitors work in Stanitsa Luhanska 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Their post is located five kilometers from the checkpoint. What you see behind us is uh, one of our four patrol bases uh, here in Stanitsa Luganska. It's one of ten which we have in uh, Donetsk and Lugansk region. It's one of five which we have in Lugansk region uh, specifically. So uh, Stanitsa Luganska is uh, manned 24-7 with people who are monitoring the situation on the contact line. Uh, it's very important to say that apart from daylight monitoring, we are also working on uh, nighttime monitoring. Since the August 29th back-to-school ceasefire, the OSCE mission recorded more than 130 instances of shelling in the Luhansk region.